Hey everyone, welcome back to Grounded Surroundings. If you're new, I'm Cole, and uh, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be propagating this here Lifesaver Cactus that I got last year. I'm gonna be doing a couple different methods for the unrooted cuttings, so we're gonna be testing that out, and we're gonna see which method works the best, so that way when you do it yourself, you'll be able to have your cactus growing as quick as possible. So thanks for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, y'all, so I have the Lifesaver Cactus here as well as the pot I'm going to put it into. For the most part, the Lifesaver Cactus doesn't grow too tall and it doesn't like to be in too large of a pot. So I'm basically just gonna put it in a pot where it can keep growing horizontally and it's still large enough, but not too spacious. So we will see how that looks once we get started. So. I'm actually going to just turn it upside down out of this and hopefully it doesn't break apart too much. I'm just lightly squeezing on the, there we are. Yeah, it's definitely, a little root bound has been in this guy all year, but I've been waiting for spring to split it as the internet told me. So now the spring has arrived, I'm gonna do it. So you can see that only some of the cacti that were showing this way are actually rooted into the ground. So it's kind of a two-step method where the first step is actually gonna be twisting off the cacti that aren't attached. So you actually just twist at the joints. I'm gonna hold it close, so I'll probably get dirt everywhere, but you can kind of see where there's almost like a, I don't, I don't think node would be the right word, but I guess maybe you can see it better on this one that dried up. I don't know what happened to it, but you can see where it connects to the base or the base connects to the other cactus that's rooted. And then you basically just pull it and twist it. And then that's how you get your cuttings that are unrooted. I won't use this one in the experiment because it's been compromised <laughs> by God knows what. I probably overwatered it. Um, so yeah, basically you just work your way around and try not to make too much of a mess. And you just twist off these guys they'll callus over and what I'm going to do with the callusing over is uh, a sciency sort of approach to it where I'll do one third of them um, with no powder on it. I'll do one third of them with the rooting hormone and then one third of them with like this anecdotal method. Who knows if it'll work but I saw some lady said that cinnamon helps them dry over, which kind of makes sense. You know, cinnamon challenge dries out your mouth and then. <laughs> anyway, um, we're not talking about decade old challenges. So yeah, so basically I'll keep twisting these off and um, from there, that's crazy. I thought this was rooted, but it's just completely on the side of this little tiny cacti. Look at that. Oh, it is rooted too. Okay, so you can see where the roots come off of the base here, where they're trying to root. So this guy will probably root quicker. So it actually threw some roots into here. So I'm sorry that I twisted it off like that. But yeah, you can see that they uh, can kind of self-propagate in a way. And I've had, this has been like one of the easiest plants. Like I'm absolutely excited to have this in a larger pot so I have more of it. And it also flowered for like four months straight and the flowers are really pretty. Uh, so Lifesaver Cactus has, um, oh, I want to be careful with this. It has five petals and it has a big red raised, geez, uh, Lifesaver shaped, uh, part in the middle basically. So it's kind of puffy looking and it's really cool. It's supposed to be one of those flowers that, I gotta break this apart. It's supposed to be one of those flowers that um, smells like like meat or like death or whatever, but honestly, I could never smell anything. So I've never split one of these apart, so I think it might actually be in my best interest to try to break the roots apart a little bit first and separate it, and then actually twist off like this guy, because I don't want these long roots to to get completely destroyed by me trying to pull it out. So I'll split it apart by the roots first. I'm just basically trying to slowly pull it all apart. Just kind of be gentle. Obviously you're tearing apart a plant and a root system, so. But let me just keep pulling it open, almost like peeling an orange and then, let's see, now that's a clump right there. 
There we are. Awesome. Okay, there's one. Um, let's twist this guy off right here. I have this there. Cool. But yeah, so you just kind of break it apart and um, twist off all of the ones that are attached. You twist off all the ones that are attached but not rooted. And then that way they can root up and then you can basically have multiple plants because the main cacti should just sprout off more cacti. Uh, I'm trying to be gentle, but I might just have to just tear this up. It looks like these are, it's like a puzzle. Okay, there we go. Look at that. I might not even be able to do the experiment because so many of them are already rooted. It's crazy. Maybe we'll just have a lot of healthy plants right off the start. So I'm glad I waited for spring. This is crazy. They're all attached. Look at that. Look at that root system. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. So yeah, I'll split off these clusters here. And then there'll be one of these, two of these, a couple of these are actually rooted. And I'll just basically be repotting those in a moment into this large pot here. are nice look at that some more roots and honestly this is all attached i might try to split it right here by this yellow one yeah awesome i don't want to lose this in here okay so that's step one i'm also going to just take off this yellowing one just in case it's some sort of fungus on it. I don't think it is. I think I overwatered it because I saw that yellowing on this cactus in particular is a sign of overwatering. So I'm just going to play it safe and I'll split it off and I'll dry it separately. So yeah, next up is going to be um, repotting it all. All right, so I want to do a couple things. So I'm obviously going to set the things up for the experiment. I'm also going to test this out. So this one that's dried up, again, I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm just going to try ripping it beneath the yellow because it keeps drying up. There we are. You can see it's still like kind of green on the inside. I don't know what happened, but I'm just going to dip that uh, in some rooting powder and see if uh, it'll just come back. I'm sure it will because rooting powder is kind of... You know, the point is for it to create roots, so dip a little bit there, and I'm just going to set it to the side, kind of separate from, separate from the total uh, kind of experiment, if you will. So here's another one where they both have light root systems, and they're just kind of attached to each other, so we're just going to split this apart here. And then we're going to dip both of these ends into rooting powder. That way they can basically sprout more roots and have a stronger uh, system. Yeah, so just like that. Okay, so to cover my bases here, in case I missed it, I have um, four separate containers that I'm doing. Two are going to be uh, bright indirect light and two are going to be pretty low light, just to see if one method works better than the other. And then I have them labeled for the perlite ones. So I have hormone, plain, and with the cinnamon on all of them. And then obviously it would be better if there were multiple cuttings for each uh, type. So like three plain and dark or three rooted hormone and bright light. But I don't have that right now. So maybe next time. But we'll probably get a general idea of whether perlite is better or rooting hor hormone or just plain in plain cactus soil. So yeah, regardless, I have basically a whole new pot to set up and then I have a bunch of cuttings that will hopefully root up pretty soon and I am super stoked about because I love this plant. It flowers forever and it's easy, it's low maintenance, it's fantastic, I love it. Um, so yeah, next I'm going to repot this. Enjoy.
Well, thank you all for tuning in to Grounded Surroundings to watch this Lifesaver Cactus propagation video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I obviously have the final product here. I don't know how well it'll work. I'm hoping it will, um, but I successfully made a mess, had a good time splitting up this plant, and I'm excited to have some more of it essentially in a bigger pot and watch it grow this year. So I'll do update videos on the propagations. So the unrooted ones that have the root, obviously that fell over, um, as well as the main container. And if you are interested in some of these cuttings, if you do comment, um, I would happily send you one. And uh, yeah, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the content and you stay around for some more. And uh, thanks for tuning in and supporting the channel. Have a good night.